Hey guys, sorry I'm not here in person today, but we are still going to have a lesson here. Um, this is our final day of kind of uh, getting into art. Um, next week we're going to start a real project, I promise. Uh, but the last thing we need to do is talk about the elements of art. Um, so every project we're going to do in this class um, will relate to one of the elements or the principles. We'll talk about that later. Uh, we're starting with the elements. So um, the seven elements of art are essentially the building blocks of any piece of visual art. Um, you cannot make a piece of visual art that doesn't use any of the elements, right? You see up here we've got line, shape, form, space, texture, value, and color. These are the things that we use to make an image. Um, talking about them and identifying them um, just helps us evaluate art. Um, it helps us understand art. It helps us talk about art um, and kind of analyze what an artist has done, how they've made something, and how you can make your own art. Um, so today we're going to make kind of like a study guide to the elements of art, right? So I'm going to be talking about these a lot during our projects. Um, and I want you to be able to remember what they are. Um, so we're going to open up fresh paint and um, you're going to draw four, seven boxes, one for each of the elements, and you're going to illustrate each element. The way I'd like you to do this is by first picking a simple subject, right? So, um, so think about something simple you could draw like an apple or a basketball or a cup or, you know, Pick something basic, simple, that you could um, use as the subject for seven different drawings using the seven different elements. Um, so I'm going to open up Fresh Paint and show you what I mean. So I'm going to do this with, I'm going to start with the pen. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is draw seven boxes, right, so we can fit them all. bottom one's a little bit smaller. So you can fit all seven. Okay, so we've got line, shape, That one's too close. I'll write it over here. Color. Value. Texture. Form. And shape. Okay, um, so I'm going to use a pair as my object. Um, so for the line, I'm going to try and draw a pair using only lines. So I'm going to start, that's a little too skinny, with the outline of my pair. Get my little stem in there, and I'm going to do some lines in the background. Right, there are lots of different kinds of lines. Um, you can have straight lines, you can have curved lines, you can have swirly lines, dotted lines. All right, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Uh, maybe I'll put some short lines in here. It's kind of a shadow. Right, whatever you want to do to make a drawing using only line. Okay, so shape, um, the difference between line and shape um, is that shape is a filled in area, right? So if I made pear shape with an outline, this is still in the line category, right? Because it's just a line of the outside. 
I want to make a shape, so I'm going to grab my uh, my pastel here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the background. Okay, I'm going to grab, oops, hey, I'm going to grab a different color. Mm, that's a nice pear color. Okay, I'm going to dry it so it doesn't smear. And I am going to draw my pear with just shape. Alright, so I'm using a whole filled in area. And grab some brown for the stem. Shape. Color. Um, so obviously you might have some color in um, in some of your other drawings, like I have with shape. Uh, but for the color illustration, have some fun with your color. And so I'm going to bring lots of different colors in here. Again, I'm going to start with my background, so I get a nice filled-in area. Right, so this picture is just using all color. I might have some fun with it here. Okay, now I'm going to draw my pear. Let's see, I'm going to make a bright orange pear. Ooh. Let's dry that background. some yellow here I'm gonna give it a blue oh, too big a blue shadow a blue stem color Value. Um, so value is um, the range from light to dark. So in value, um, you could use a color or you can use black and white, uh, but if you use color, it's going to be only one color and, you know, the light color and the dark color. I'm going to keep it simple and just use um, black and white. Um, so again, I'm going to start filling in my background. Okay, I'm going to dry it with my fan. I'm going to get the white. And draw my pair. I'm not going to leave it just black and white, right? I'm going to add some gray. Darker gray. I'm going to get this gray as kind of an outline. All right. Okay value. So again, value, range of light to dark. Texture. Um, texture is all about um, the, 
feeling of a surface, right? So texture um, when we're drawing is kind of like um, when you add maybe a pattern or something to make it look like the texture of an object isn't just smooth. So for this one, maybe I'll make it on, let's see, I'm gonna grab this brown. Oh, I want something thicker than that. Okay. Again, I'm gonna start with a filled in background. Dry it. Now I'm gonna get a different shade of brown. Oh, I'm gonna make it smaller. Yeah, so now I'm gonna give it kind of a texture here. So what I'm kind of thinking of right now is like a basket texture, but it could be anything like, you know, brick, it could be bumpy, it could be scaly, depending on what your subject is. All right, so I was kind of thinking of a basket. Uh, now I'm gonna add my pear on top. And grab that green, I like that green. Okay, I'm gonna dry that basket texture. I'm gonna draw my pear. Go back to that lighter one. And I'm gonna put some dots on it. You know that sometimes pears are a little bumpy. some more dots and for that stem all right texture form okay so form oh looks like I oops uh, I messed up on that one that's not gonna raise nope I wrote the wrong one. Space. Okay, so space and form are similar. They're both three-dimensional, uh, but form is like something, like an object or a shape that is has three-dimensionality, whereas space is like emptiness. It's like the air between things. So um, for form, Um, I am going to imagine I have a block cut out in the shape of a pear. That's not very good. Right, so to make something three-dimensional like that, um, you're adding diagonal lines from the top and the bottom, and then copying that line. Right, and we are definitely going to get more into how to make things look 3D. I know this one might be, could be a challenge for some of you, but I'm going to try and make it look like it's a three-dimensional object. And All right, so I'm going to leave it like that form. And space could be, I think the simplest way to do this one is to think of, like maybe if you put two of whatever your subject is, uh, put two of them on either side and focus on the, sh on the space in between. All right, so let's say I've got a 
a pair over here, and a pair over here, but I'm focusing on the space in between. I'm going to fill these in. So um, that is what I would like you to make today. Um, again, you're picking a subject, some kind of object, and you are illustrating it using each of the elements. Um, hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Um, I, am, I will be reviewing all of this stuff, stuff so just, um, just do your best. Um, without me as without without me as as best as you can today I can't talk anymore um, do your best um, and I can answer more questions next week all right thanks guys